has this been going on your whole life or it was something like later on in life? Um, we're not totally sure. I've had migraines um, as long as I can remember. I remember being three and trying to explain my headaches to my mom and her flipping on a light and me just screaming. Um, so I have had migraines my whole life. There, there is a possibility of defects in the dura surrounding your brain and your spinal cord. Yeah. And they think that's possibly the cause, but I still haven't gotten in for that MRI. But my neurologist is under the impression I've been dealing with it for so long that it has become my normal. Um, they can't identify a cause at this point, but the symptoms have been there off and on as long as I can remember. Okay. And in, in your day-to-day -day life, it flares up sometimes? Yes. Okay. And do you take medication or what do you, yes, how do you combat it? Um, well, blood patches, which um, basically what they do with that is they extract blood from a vein. Okay. And they immediately put it in your spine. And so what they, that does, it, the blood surrounds the dura, yeah. finds the hole, and seals it. The problem is the dura doesn't have any blood vessels so it doesn't heal on its own. That blood might encourage it to heal once you put it in the spine, but that's that's not exactly um, something you need to count on. Right. So it's, it's very likely it can happen again if that patch comes loose, which can happen. Um, I'll have to do it all over again. I have had two blood patches. I expect to probably end up with more. Is it painful? Um, the blood patch? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's 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 a lot of pressure in your spine. They're they're pumping, you know, something that there there really isn't room for into your spinal column. And it's it's like having food poisoning but in your spine. That's that's what it feels like. Real bad food poisoning in your spine. So you could be playing with the kids and it could happen or Yeah. Sleep? You can sleep. sleep. Yeah, it can happen in my sleep. If I take any kind of blow to the head or neck, it can happen again. Um, I just, I've got to be cautious. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's okay because now we've identified the cause, and I'm, that's so huge to me mm -hmm. because I went so long thinking I was crazy, not knowing what was wrong. But now we know, and now we know how to fix it. And even if we have to do it again, even if I only get two weeks of relief, that's still. Does it affect you on a day life? Like, can you work out or can you take long walks or? I cannot do any kind of impact workout, like high impact yeah, workout. Yeah, yeah. I have to be very cautious with how I do it. Okay. Um, I can work out sometimes right. as long as I'm healthy enough to do so. But um, I, I've just got to be careful. Uh, I can't do kickboxing or no, jiu-jitsu no, no. or anything gotcha, gotcha. dumb like that. I'll never be a gymnast again. Um, but you, Are you a gymnast before? I was a gymnast growing up. Okay. And uh, I mean, that's obviously something I will never do again. Mm -hmm. But any blow to the head or back can cause it to start leaking again. And I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Mm -hmm.